Welcome back. Last week, Yellowstone National Park sent 116 bison to the Fort Peck Reservation north in northeast Montana. MTN's John Shear explains why it takes so long for bison captured in the park to be sent to tribal lands. You know, you can just imagine these animals that are were born in the wildness of Yellowstone. Been moved into a, a, a corral for the last, in this case, last 300 days. Now they've just been on a truck for 500 miles. The bison were sent to Fort Peck last week, but the park stayed quiet about the transfer until now because of past threats and protests when bison were moved. To date, we've brought 414 animals to Fort Peck since 2019. Roughly 300 of those animals have now been moved to 26 other tribes from as far away as Alaska to uh, Michigan. These gates behind me are locked. They're normally closed to the public because this is the bison quarantine facility for Yellowstone National Park. It's where the animals are held for one to three years. Females will need to be in the program for that length of time but then also breed and calve and raise that calf to six months of age. Jeremiah estimates the northern bison herd at 4,500 right now and probably 5,500 by next summer. That's about at the 10-year average. Last summer, the park greatly expanded its bison quarantine facility. There's a really good chance that in two winters from now, we will be moving over 300 animals from here to the Assiniboine and Sioux. These are the last animals that were the members of the last wild herd on this planet. So being able to bring those animals back to tribal areas means a, means a ton to the people who live there. In Yellowstone National Park, John Shearer, MTN News.